Viewer discretion is advised. Investors are always on the lookout for coins that'll shoot up in price. And as of now, there's a largely untapped industry that could benefit from crypto tech, adult entertainment cryptos. You filthy viewers requested it, so I'm doing it. You filthy animal. Is this the breakthrough blockchains have been waiting for? That's what we're gonna find out. And as always, even for a topic like this, we're going to review requested tokens from my Patreon members and whether they're actually worth going deep into. And yes, there's gonna be plenty of innuendos all throughout this entire video. Ah, uh, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> also, if you hear me say adult, just know I probably mean or Penn Gillette once said that if you have a new technology and you can't use it for coitus, then you don't have a good technology. And it's not a scientific point of view by any means, but it does reflect that human impulses can drive adoption in various industries. They can also lead to adoption, but that, that's kind of sad. I don't know why I said that. Then think about all of the creative ways VR goggles have been appropriated. You can quickly see where our motives lie here. And up until recently, cryptocurrencies and blockchain communities have really only been adult adjacent at best. But if you think about it, crypto and adult work could be a match made in heaven or the bedroom. But seriously, the conversation around adult work has increasingly become about a person's individual freedom to earn the kind of income that they choose or for a person to be able to pay for the kind of entertainment that they want, which in many ways echoes some of the main talking points for mass adoption of blockchain technology. This could be a perfect use case for blockchain technology. Adult industries traditionally have a hard time with payment providers and cryptos often offer a censorship resistance means to make payment. So it makes sense. Even though platforms like OnlyFans have been around for a while, the size of the market more than doubled in 2020, and OnlyFans went from a billion dollars to $5 billion in all-time fees paid to creators in a little over one year. However, it's companies like these that are also facing a lot of regulatory scrutiny, often with good reason to combat illegal activity. Sites like OnlyFans and its competitors are held back by banks that simply won't work with them. And this has happened in green industries as well. To protest against this in August, OnlyFans decided to put a ban on adult content. Their CEO even directly pointed out BNY Mellon as a bank that was making it especially hard to handle financial services. They've since turned around on that band, and my guess is it was probably just a publicity stunt. But either way, it's clear that banks and purveyors of pleasure don't always get along despite adult sites making four of the top 20 most visited websites this year. I'm perfectly okay with that, as long as it's not that weird stuff. Also, fun fact, the only payment method accepted for Adult Hub Premium is crypto. Yes, I did a lot of research for this video. Anyways, let's look at a few blockchain projects and experiment a little with how to use each one for academic purposes only. And hopefully we'll all get lucky with some potentially good investments. So let's start off to a good start with our review of Nafti. They call themselves a socialized DeFi protocol, which addresses the exact issues that creators and customers face in the realm of online adult content. They're a token as well as a platform. The Nafti token can be bought on Binance. And before I go a sentence further, I need to note that me mentioning a project is not in any way me endorsing it whatsoever. I'm simply giving details. Just watch this entire video so you can hear all of my thoughts. That's, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, holders can use their token to subscribe or interact with creators on the on-chain content platforms, of which Nafti actually has three. The first one works like OnlyFans, it's called Nafti Fans. Nafti also has an NFT marketplace, which is a great little corner of the internet that I unfortunately won't be able to show much of on this video. And honestly, I'm realizing that this video is basically just gonna be one big blur at this point, but uh, their NFT marketplace is similar to any NFT marketplace, except, well, you know. Finally, they have nafti.tv where you can subscribe for more regular adult content. Okay, now let's talk token. As I said, you can buy the tokens off of Binance, but once you're a holder, you actually become entitled to a portion of the transaction fees from the entire network, which is kind of interesting. There's an element of tokenomics to this. Nafti tokens are used to pay creators for their content without middlemen. However, the small fee charged on top of every transaction, half of that fee gets burned and the other half gets distributed to holders. One Nafti as of the recording of this is 0.0012 US dollars, down 
pretty far from their peak of $0.0045 in August when OnlyFans had their little snafu. So it seems to me that this token is mostly acquired as of now as a form of payment for that specific NAFTI content. Now, is it worth looking further into? Well, you can technically stake your tokens to earn part of the transaction rewards. There isn't really enough momentum behind this token to, to consider it a good investment on its own. It seems like an interesting enough idea. However, I'm not sure why they need their own token for this. I feel it'd probably make more sense to have a platform that simply uses a crypto that everyone already has, like Bitcoin for payment. In fact, we can't say anything is impossible in crypto, but I do think that they have a tough battle ahead of them. All right, next up in this emporium of absolute wonder is Spank Chain. Much like Nafti, this project has quite a few offshoots. Uh, what seem to be active right now are Spank Pay and Spank Pop Shots their NFT video clip platform. Once upon a time, they also had their own cam website where models could receive up to 99% of all fees paid for their content. However, that seems to be discontinued as Spank's backend was having trouble getting it up. <laughs> Terrible joke. The biggest use for Spank Chain at the moment seems to be Spank Pay, which is targeted at adult performers for having more control over their own payments, but also merchants who want to have a way to transact in crypto. It's kind of strange. The fees that Spank charges for models and merchants are 1% and half a percent respectively, though it isn't clear why that distinction is made. It's also not clear what's meant by merchants on the Spank Pay website either, but based on their marketing copy, you might see a Spank Pay terminal at your local coffee shop pretty soon. I don't know. Now, while you can pay adult creators in Spank, if you'd like, the Spank Pay app also lets you transact in more recognized currencies like Ethereum and Litecoin, all done privately, anonymously, and on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, to be honest, this doesn't seem like a good investment. The token tends to spike if there's any news of regulations stirring for more uh, conventional adult entertainment sites. But then after that all boils over, the token settles in price somewhere between like one penny and two pennies, and sometimes well below that. Spank Chain approaches the same set of problems that Nafti does and attempts to solve them with very similar looking solutions. They both leverage blockchain payments to keep transactions private, secure, and reliable enough for creators to trust them. However, adoption seems to have plateaued for both projects, even after some dramatic rallies. Maybe that's saying something about how, you know, human brains perceive adult content as an industry, a kind of hit it and quit it part of the internet that we'd rather not spend all of our waking hours thinking about. Maybe we push it that thought to the side a little bit. I also question why use this coin? Let's say you're browsing their site and you have the choice to use the Spank coin or Ethereum or Litecoin, which you're much more familiar with. You're probably going to choose Ethereum or Litecoin, who you're more familiar with and you can trust a little bit more. So it's tough with the value proposition there, but I'm not giving up. We have one more to go through. The global online adult industry, as obtuse as it is, is estimated to be worth over $35 billion. That's an addressable market whose more recent growth is driven largely by new creators publishing content on their own terms and they need to be paid for it. Nafti and Spankcoin are both attempts to solve several problems imposed by traditional banking. But bringing this whole industry up to speed when it comes to using blockchain apart from Adult Hub accepting Bitcoin could have a few issues still. Now, earlier this year, around the time Bitcoin's price crashed, arguably because of the Tesla slash Elon Musk announcement, Elon Musk went on a bit of a crypto tweet spree, sending specific meme coins and their prices sky high. And one of those apparent meme coins was rocket. Its price shot, <laughs> shot from six cents to 28 cents, a growth of nearly 500%. The c**ies token peaked twice this way, about a month apart in May and June of this year. Since then, it's been hovering below the five cent mark without much in notable movement since then. Still, a quick read through the Rocket website tells us about the way they use blockchain tech to create a community experience between creators and fans. They also have an NFT marketplace that contains photos, art, and everything else you could possibly want. Now, enthusiasts will be quick to note that the native token is deflationary, as half of the standard 5% and transaction fee is burned permanently every single transaction with no limit on the number of tokens that can be burned. Now that relative scarcity is similar to the scarcity
electricity created in the NAFTA transaction fee system. But it's hard to say whether this strategy will work. Not even Bitcoin, whose entire model was based around digital scarcity, was a sure bet to increase in value over time. Because while scarcity and supply can be a good indicator of how valuable something might become, there still needs to be demand to meet or surpass it. We know that there is a demand for adult content, especially in online environments where open communication and transactions can safely happen. But does that translate to a demand for these tokens or for the me token. A question for true internet philosophers. I think I'll be keeping it in my pants. Wow, that is really hard. For these investments, keeping my wallet in my pants, that is. You really think you can go all day long? Despite many creators turning to these platforms for the survival of their careers, the industry being a massive multi-billion dollar player, and these projects having some loyal fans, it's hard for me to tell whether there's an explicit need for a specific adults-only crypto. Other cryptos are already censorship resistant with much more robust blockchains and tokenomics and more trust to the projects. I mean, Vitalik Buterin, even though he started Ethereum, he couldn't stop you from buying an OnlyFans account with Ethereum if he wanted to. Two, layer four, eight, 16, binary. That's just how cryptos work. So I do wonder if these niche tokens will take off or if the industry will just simply use more general cryptos as payment. The latter, the second there, seems far more likely to me. Perhaps someone will come up with a use case that makes more sense for a niche coin here, but I simply didn't come across that in my research. Anyways, check out the link in my description for BlockFi, where you can earn interest on your cryptos, get a crypto credit card, and even get up to $250 in Bitcoin just from making an account. Also, thanks for them for not being mad that I just plugged them at the end of this video without telling them first about it. So click that link before I lose this sponsor. From here, I'd highly recommend you check out the video on screen for a crypto industry with awesome use cases. Check out that video. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.